Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is Pima Community College, Culinary 150, Garde Magé. This is week three, lab one on sandwiches. Also includes your assignment. I'm Chef Lolly. We know from our readings in our chapter that sandwiches are made of three basic components, bread, spread, and fillings. So here I have a loaf of Italian bread. We're gonna make a couple sandwiches today. We'll cut straight down. And there's our bread. For our spread on our sandwich today, we're gonna to use delicatessen mustard. And also remember we talked about compound mayonnaise. That meaning mayonnaise with other flavorings added into it. So I took a red roasted a red bell pepper, brought it out to my barbecue and roasted it, brought it inside, finished cooking it, and I mixed it with a little bit of mayonnaise. So for this spread, this is a red pepper mayonnaise. We're just going to put it on one side of the sandwich for today. Now our fillings. Fillings for this sandwich include ham, and there's about four ounces of ham there, I would imagine. Now for additional flavor, I add a little garlic bologna to the sandwich. We'll finish it up with some Genoa salami. Some nice fresh bib lettuce here I'm going to be putting on. Remember we talked about bib when we talked about salads. Notice how crisp it is. Remember we talked about keeping things crisp. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato now. Cover our sandwich. I did forget to put something on it though. So we'll just take it apart again and add our provolone cheese. Very important part of this sandwich. There we go. Now we have a complete sandwich. Why did I choose this sandwich to make? Because it's my favorite. I'm gonna have it for lunch. So We'll cut the sandwich into portion sizes. And there you can see we have the layers of our sandwich. This sandwich is done. Now remember, when we talked about spreads, there are three basic types of spreads. Those being butter, mayonnaise, and vegetable purees. So what I did for this sandwich was combine the mayonnaise and the vegetable puree to make a uh, red pepper mayonnaise. Your assignment for this week was to make a Reuben sandwich with a side of potato salad. Now for this assignment you're going to need to make one batch of mayonnaise as shown in the week one video. You'll need to make a half a batch of potato salad. So on your potato salad where it says three pounds, you're gonna be using a pound and a half. We're also going to be using Russian dressing for this recipe. You're going to make a half a batch. The recipe is posted in D2L and it's just a uh, pour and mix type of recipe. So let's start making our Reuben. Bread is going to be 
about a half inch to three quarter inch thick. And, I'm, and I am using Jewish rye bread for this particular sandwich. Once again, we are going to be using the spread. This week, being your Russian dressing. Now, when you make your Russian dressing, according to the recipe that's posted in D2L, you want to make sure that you have a good balance between your uh, horseradish, your mayonnaise, your sriracha, We're going to be folding this over right now because we have to butter this side of the sandwich. So to butter our sandwich, we need softened butter. But chef, you say, I forgot to take the butter out to soften. But chef, you say, I don't have the butter softened, but I can throw it in the microwave to soften it. Well, that's true, but you'll find that nine times out of 10, you'll have a puddle of butter at the bottom of your plate. Here's an easy way to soften butter. Take a thick glass, fill it with water, bring the water to a boil. Be careful when you're touching the glass, pour the water out. Now we'll take our stick of butter, put the hot glass on top, and let it sit for about three or four minutes. Guaranteed, you'll have softened butter each and every time. So, we're going to be buttering one half of this sandwich, but before we get to that, let's talk about our mise en place. Remember, mise en place means place for everything. So with it, what that means is we'll take all of our ingredients from the sandwich that we're going to make, arrange it so that we can access it easily. Here I have our corned beef, our Swiss cheese, and our sauerkraut. Butter should be pretty softened by now. Now the important part to remember when you're putting your butter on your sandwich is coat all of the bread, one side to the other, end to end, all the way across. Now we're ready to start grilling our sandwich. Okay, we have our grill out now. This is an electric grill. I've got it set at about 280 degrees. So we have our bread buttered on one side. We're going to butter the other side of the bread. End to end and we'll place it on our griddle. Remember our Russian dressing is already in there. Now, we take our, our corned beef, place it on the griddle to warm it up. Our sauerkraut, three ounces. We probably won't be using all of it, but that also needs to get heated up. Our two slices of Swiss cheese on the bread. And then I put a little extra half a slice just for fun and game. So we'll toss our corned beef around a little bit. We'll also toss our sauerkraut. Now the sauerkraut has been wrung out dried of all uh, juice that came with it. If you have a little bit of juice on it, it's okay. It'll just create steam, which will just help to heat up the rest of the sauerkraut. Corned beef is getting hot. Our sandwich is getting hot. 
Now we'll just put the corned beef on top of the Swiss cheese. On both sides. We'll save a little bit. Now we'll put on our sauerkraut. Just like that. Very nice. We'll add our remaining corned beef. And now we'll close our sandwich. Press down. You can see it's slightly breaded on this side. We're gonna let it go a couple more minutes before we turn this sandwich over to make sure that this side gets a little bit more browned. There is our Reuben sandwich. Now, if you don't have an electric griddle like this, and this is called a griddle, it's not a grill, but a griddle like this, you can use uh, saute pans, uh, no butter or oil in the saute pan before you use it. You can heat up the meat and sauerkraut in one pan, put it in a pie pan, and keep it warm for a few seconds that you're doing your sandwich. This concludes our sandwich and our assignment for this week. Remember, you have to make one full batch of mayonnaise. You have to make one half batch of Russian dressing. You have to make one half batch of potato salad. I double checked this morning with Chef Jerome and all the ingredients will be in your box. Remember, you have to pick that up on Tuesday because Monday is Labor Day and a holiday. College is closed. Okay, so that's it for now. When we come back, we'll have a special surprise for you. In the meantime, happy cooking. Welcome back. You know, there's different kinds of potato salad that can be made and served with our Reuben sandwich. Today, I'm going to make hot German potato salad. It starts off with 12 ounces of bacon that I've diced up. Now I'm sauteing. When it's almost crisp, I'm going to take it out of the pan and leave the grease. Okay, our bacon is almost crisp. We're going to remove it from the pan. Turn down the heat to a nice medium. Now I'm going to add one third cup of apple cider vinegar. And to this I have combined one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Pour this gently into your pan. Let it simmer for about half a minute or so. Red potatoes, the large ones, I peeled them, I diced them into a large dice. I threw them in a pot with salt and cold water, let the water come to a boil, and cook the potatoes as we did before until they are soft and the knife easily pulls out. So, we have our potatoes, they're dried, they're cooled. We're going to add them to our 
potato salad dressing. Going to pour in three tablespoons of sugar and one half teaspoon of salt. Stir around, make sure all the potatoes are coated. Re-add our bacon. We're going to add one teaspoon, one tablespoon rather, of minced garlic. And we're going to add about a tablespoon of chopped green onion. Keeping our heat on medium. Make sure all the flavors mix well. Going to add a little black pepper. Let it reduce down a little longer. <coughs> Turn off the heat. Pour it into our service bowl. And there's our hot German potato salad. Thanks for joining. Remember, this is not part of your assignment. You don't have to make the hot German potato salad, but you do have to make the cold potato salad. And remember, you're gonna need one batch of mayonnaise, one half batch of potato salad, one half batch of Russian dressing, to complete your assignment. Thanks. Happy cooking.